Cloudinary makes it incredibly easy to boost performance by optimizing your videos and images, gives you tools to manage your dynamic content library, and additionally gives you the ability to use AI for things like generative fill for images. So let's see how we can take some of these features that Cloudinary gives, like programmable media, using Cloudinary AI, and just the ability to manage all your assets, and how we can apply that to a Laravel application. The great part is that we're going to be using the Laravel Cloudinary SDK so that we can have an expressive API to easily work with Cloudinary and our media files. Now, I went ahead and scaffolded out a Laravel Breeze application. In this application, we have specific products that are listed with a image to display what these products are. But since these images are hard coded in, we don't get very great loading time. Even on a local environment, you can see that we have a little bit of flickering. They're not optimized as best as they could be. So let's go ahead and get started using Cloudinary. So in our application directory, I'm going to open up the terminal and we're going to install the Cloudinary Laravel SDK. That's composer require Cloudinary dash labs slash Cloudinary dash Laravel. After that's installed, if we're using anything higher than Laravel 5.5, in this case, I'm using Laravel 10, we just need to add the environment variable, which is the Cloudinary URL. Now this Cloudinary URL, we can find on our Cloudinary dashboard. On our dashboard, just go ahead and copy this API environment variable for the Cloudinary URL. And then we're going to paste it into our .env file. Now I've gone ahead and blurred this out so that you can't see mine. But after you paste it, go ahead and hit save and we are ready to go. Now, since these images aren't necessarily in our Cloudinary Media Library, what we can do is display images that we do have in our Cloudinary Library. Now, let's just go ahead and hard code our image with our Cloudinary Media Library images. So instead of looping over each image within a product and using the image tag, what we're just going to do is use the x-cld underscore image blade component that Cloudinary Laravel SDK provides for us. Now, instead of a source, we're going to say public ID. And since we don't have one yet for every one of our images, we're just going to use an example image that Cloudinary provides. Now, this is going to be using the same image for every single product that we have, but we'll go ahead and fix this later. And there we go. Now we're using images that are given to us in our Cloudinary Media Dashboard, and we can use any attributes that Cloudinary provides for us right within this Laravel Blade component. So if I want to have every image grayscale, or if we want to do a cartoonish effect. For now, let's just go ahead and make each image grayscale. Perfect. Next up, let's take a look at how we can embed videos using the Cloudinary Video Player. 